Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel once again. My name is Soji and welcome. In this video, we shall be looking at a Linux command that allows a user on the Linux terminal to interact with the system's hardware related information, information about your central processing unit or CPU, information about the CPU features like the ability uh, or CPU features that allows the CPU to uh, for virtualization and all of that. It also allows a user to retrieve system information, the make and model of the, of the, the, the PC itself. It also allows a user to retrieve information about the amount of physically installed memory, or what is simply referred to as RAM. Now, let us look at how it got this name. First thing we look at is what DG stands for desktop. Desktop. The M stands for management. Now we begin to understand. And the I stands for interface. Now what about this guy? Let's split it into two. The programmers of this command tries to name it to suit exactly what it does or to reflect what it does. So the decode is actually a table decoder. So this means decoder. So it got its name because of what it does. So it allows a user to run this command on a terminal or on a command prompt in the Linux environment to retrieve systems hardware related information. Information about your CPU the clock speed, the platform, and all of that. Information about your physically installed RAM, what is also known as the random access memory. Information about the BIOS itself, the firmware that consists of, that contains all the what hard coded programming environment that allows the hardware to interact. You can get all the information about what the system itself, assuming you bought a Dell PC, you can ascertain what kind of PC you're running. So do not forget the desktop management interface decoder, also known as DMI decode, allows a user to interact with the hardware of the computer. Hardware that are what, by default, integrated on the motherboard. So let's get started. The first thing we want to look at is to get onto a, a terminal. Maybe jump onto a terminal because it's a terminal command. The first thing we do with a, a command for freshers or for professionals, we usually seek help. I go to the manual of DMI decode. You simply type men DMI decode. It is a tool for dumping computers DMI or SM BIOS content in a human readable format. Information about your CPU, about your RAM, about your hardware or systems preferences with respect to the serial number, the BIOS revision number and all of that. Now, another quick help would be to type DMI decode and we simply type double help. This is a quick what help look at. The options that are available for when you type the option D you read memory from device file, from a file. You don't have to provide the path to that file. Now, quickly, let's get into the business. We want to be able to ascertain information about the CPU. So let's get information about the CPU. First, we do this. 
when you type the MID code alone, it gives you this. Now, it says permission denied. Most Linux flavors or distros will require you to run this using a privileged account. And so this is what I'm going to do quickly. I type sudo DMI decode. Provide the password for your environment. Now it scrolls verbosely too fast, faster than I can keep up with. So to control these pages, I use the more, more allows me to page one at a time. And you can scroll through, look at the CPU catchy information of uh, CPU, PCI port information, RAM and all of that. Now to get specific information about a particular hardware, for example, let's get information about BIOS. I simply call up what I've typed before. This time, I change the option to dash T and type BIOS. Assuming I do not know, there are options. Linux allows you to auto complete by pressing the tab on your keyboard. Now I press tab. These are hardware information that can be retrieved using this command. I have baseboard, I have BIOS, I have Kachi or catch, chassis, I have connector, I have memory, Processor, these are, now let's look at system, select system. It's going to retrieve the information from the BIOS itself about the entire PC's. Um, it says this PC is a Dell PC, latitude A6420. This is a, a, a quick uh, preview of the system uh, PC's information. Now let's look at another one is Let's clear this. Let's look at BIOS. The BIOS version and the BIOS itself is created by Dell. The size, the date, and all of that. Let's look at another information about our system hardware. Let's look at processor, which most people find very interesting. Information about my processor right now. The processor is an Intel second generation with a clock speed of 2.50 gigahertz. Voltage maximum speed should it be overclocked or throttled higher. Current speed right now is about 2.5. It's got L1 Kachi and all of that. Now let's move to another, assuming you still do not can remember all of these commands. You press the tab. Let's look at memory. Memory, autocomplete. Right now this PC has what? 8 gig of physically installed RAM or random access memory. And look at it. This is what the beauty of this command. Desktop Management Interface Decoder. Let's look at another one quickly. Press the tab. I look at the BIOS. We've seen BIOS. We look at Kachi. We look at connectors. We look at memory. We look at processor. We look at system. Let's look at catch. Then we close. Now it tells you it goes L1, Kachi, L2, layer 3, layer 4, like that, so on and so forth, depending on the type of processor installed on your machine. Once again, I'd like to remind you, it got its name from the fact that it allows a user to interact with the system's hardware by retrieving information about your memory, about your CPU, about your RAM, and so on and so forth. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Once again, should you find this video interesting, please give, give it a thumbs up and um, like and share this video. Once again, my name is Soji Emiliokon. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thank you.